Maybe that looks about right. Alrighty. So welcome to an impromptu live bowling session from Putnam Street Lanes, Fitchburg, Mass. Due to the pandemic, our options are very limited as there's places requiring masks even when you're bowling, so I'm skipping them. There's one place I want to go to, but every time I call, they don't answer. So either their hours change and they didn't post it, or I don't know, they don't answer the phones. But, so we're alternating between here and Mason's pretty much. So we are in, of course, our lane over here, number 10. And we you know I broke a couple of personal best before New Palace on 9. And somebody already said something kind of interesting. Oh, hello, John. One of these days, hopefully we can meet again. See if I trump. <laughs> Alrighty, let's see how it goes. Uh, let's see. Putnam Street action, save that one, that's an eight. And no bowling balls, oh here they come. If I just could have hit that piece of wood, we could have got a niner. See a pattern? Went the game, that's a seven. We are now under the minimum. By the way, that pin that's over there counts. So let's see if we get the spare. Okay. We'll 
I'll take it. Yeah, any standing pin that winds up in the gutter counts. It's time for El Stink on the bonus ball. What will the bonus be? But before we get to that, actually, we're at halftime already. All right, so we got three eights, a seven, and a spare. So far, we are at 41 with El Stinko. El Stinko lives up to its name with a three, making the half of 44, which ties my all-time low. Nice. High single, 142 done at New Palace. Low 44 at Mason's, high trip 325. So under ICBA uh, uh, records they have on casual league bowlers, they average between 80 and 110. So as long as we hit 80, we're okay. So we're at 44 at the half. And per usual, we half time and end of the games, we see if anybody's got something to say. Like a shirt, when can you buy? Hello, Sammy. It was custom made at a place, unfortunately, that's no longer in business. A friend of mine from high school owned a t-shirt, a sportswear company, and I had one made and, well, I wish I were still around because I would like to make a couple more. Anyway, let's get the second half going. We missed the curse of the fill with a respectable eight. And here I got to always look underneath the sweep when the pins go over. The pins in this place love to stick up in the pit, which is illegal. That one slipped out. Welcome to Putnam Street. Another eight. This is a place that gives them to me and this is a place that likes to also screw me over. My low single here is 10 above the 44. Chris says eight is great. God knows when we'll ever bowl together again. All right, I saw a pin sticking up. It must have went down at the last moment. Two frames to get 12.
I was gonna say first clean plate, but we got a spare, so 10. Middle finger left and watching my average plummet. I always thought that 90s thing was a bitch. Hey, it's still a decent game. How Stinko kind of ruined it. Other than that, the frames themselves were okay. Just wish I had some more marks. Alrighty, let's see here. The there's something that happens. You know, they have a random number match. It generates a number, and if my score matches it, I get a free game. That's what I'm waiting for as well. That and to start a new game. Did not match. They're looking for a 112 that round. If it ever matches, I will show it to you. So there's video proof that it exists. Hello, elevators. Alrighty, game two. Start with a lovely six. Perfect. Exactly where I wanted it. So we all know what time it is. It's time for El Stinko the bonus ball. What will the bonus be this time? Better than three? Worse? The same? Almost allowed that one. Again, El Stinko stunk with a three. Definitely avoided the curse of the fill with the 10. Would have been nice if the first ball took out more pins. And an eight. I think that's the slippery ball. I always have a problem with one of them, and we got a standing pit.
that's where it needed to go. Thank goodness that piece of wood laid on that pin that moved, otherwise that would not have happened. All right, halftime report. Got a lovely six, then a spare, then a 10. First ball only knocking down three, and a spare. So far we have a 47 with El Stinkle, the bonus ball to see what our halftime is. Oh, look who's trying. So it's a 47. The good news is we can go for the Emily, which is ball two, everything. Going God's middle finger, so yet again, no curse of the fill, just a lousy fill of nothing. Niner. And I did aim ever so slightly more to the right, just to guarantee something. I believe that's the exact same six we started with. All right, three frames to get a 28 to hit middle of average. There, it's nice to reset it on the first ball with all the pins knocked down legally. Strike streak still alive. You know, come to think of it, that's kind of a spoiler for WMSAB saying strike streak is still alive. Two well stink of the bonus balls. What will they add up to? I have got doubles here several times, and last time we were here, it did happen. And I believe I came one or two pins short of a triple, which I've never successfully done. Let's see what El Stinko 1 and 2 add up to. Both El Stinko stunk with a lousy five fill, so I think this is the first curse of the fill. And a lousy six again. Fortunately, we had that spare, so we have avoided a slayer. All right, now we need seven to hit the middle of the road. Another lovely six. And again, we failed to hit minimum. Boot 
that six that you can't see. Boo to that six that you can't see. Where is it? There it is. Two lousy, well actually three lousy six frames with the tenth over there. So that is a 89. Again, it throws me a triple digit number to match. It's funny because when I get that, then they throw me numbers like 70. Anyway, hello John yet again. Hello Tom. Had a phony ball, um, had a phony ball bowling open last week and guys will need to run a few games. All right. So far, nothing exciting. Game number three, the strike streak ain't dead. My hopes of maintaining a 90s average is long gone since the reopening during, since the pandemic reopening and possible shutdown again, who knows? Massachusetts is not doing very well. Game number three. I start with a 10. Way too full again. And there's the first, I wish it was ball two more. Another 10. So far we are on a perfect game. And in candle pin bowling, a perfect game is simply knocking down all the pins in your turn. So if I can get 10 tens, that's a minimum perfect game of 100. It was achieved last summer. Of course, the ultimate goal never reached is 300. Ralph Semp, thanks for somebody reminding me his first name that I keep forgetting. And Chris Sargent hold the world record, co you know, co-hold it. Highest scoring game, 245. And one of those frames, I believe, they said was an open. Frame three. Oh, the longest I kept the perfect game streak going was at Brian's Bowlaway at Tough House. Seven frames. And then a pair of eights, and then a 10. 104 for that one. And kiss it goodbye with seven. Again, way too full, but the Putnam Street action saved it. I never know with the uh, right side. Sometimes it'll, I can make it curve and hit. Other times it curves too much. Usually it doesn't hit the target. 
And that means it's time for another lousy El Stinko, the bonus ball. How lousy will this one be? Because not a single one of them has been good so far. Now Stinko stinks for the leaf, but we can finally say that we got at least a halfway decent fill. That would be a five fill. That would have been stolen candle pin valor if that were a spare. That would be one I definitely would not have deserved. Would I have taken it? Of course. If I were a little more to the right, maybe the middle finger would have went. Halftime report. A pair of tens, a lovely seven. A spare and a nine, first ball knocking down five. We are at a 51. Hello, Mark. I want to see a Christmas edition walkthrough of. Make another video about Whitney Field. Yeah, the difference there is when I did the Whitney Field walkthroughs, it's about the mall. And. If I did a, the Christmas walkthrough with, for the sake of looking at how uncrowded or crowded it is, that kind of definitely goes against their policy. I mean, the fact that, a, like, mo, unlike Simon Malls, most of them say you're not really allowed to do it, which is why a lot of the people, including all the pros like Sal, Retail Archaeology, and uh, Aces Adventures, they have a hidden camera. So anyway, there's a little loophole in the uh, there's a little loophole in the uh, one and two party systems. Is that any public place? It's allowed so long as the audio is not there in one party states. You're pressing your luck if they do say no video, but typically they tell you to stop and leave. All right, fifty one half. part of the getting screwed and a billion times we've proved that it is not a juiced lane they have a 10 pin deck which is perfectly legal and with the proper proper 10 pin deck treatment the pins will slide and move around as if it were like I said we've went through it a billion times showed you a billion times even went up to the plate and rubbed my rubbed the palm of my hand on the pin plate and nothing comes up Oh, a lovely seven. Now that's getting screwed. That's another I wish it was ball two moment in ten. And we got a piece of wood sticking up. That's no good. You 
can see it in the far right corner. Now you see it, now you know. All right, we need 12 amongst these three to hit middle. Saw those four pins? I believe Dave says it's nearly impossible to get. Yet every time I bowl, it almost always happens at some point. Another 10. Piece of wood was standing up, but looks like it's not there. There it is. We knew that was going to happen eventually. And it has prey in the left talon. As Dennis Nuzzle says, less and more, so we want to aim for the right. That's kind of why you do that. Take a niner. All right, to hit middle of the road, we just need that. That time we got it. Didn't get screwed that time. We end with two a stink of the bonus balls. Now, we need that many points to hit three digits. We need this many in the bonus to guarantee it. Nasty leave, but not enough to call it a El Stinko leave. Seven fill, and uh, oh yeah, that's right. Oh, hold on, that, that was a strike. Darr. I got one more ball, so if not, press no. Not press no. All right, so let's go to seven. And that is correct. Now we finally hit the numbers we love to see. Uh, that seven frame, not so great. Neither is that one in six. But hey, that's the worst. And we come out with at least an 80. That's all right with me. Boy, I screwed that score up a few times. It's correct. Now we can send it off to Computerville. Dang it. Oh, hello, drum machine. Alrighty, so now let's see. Game number four. I don't know why, but it feels like I did more. Probably because of the rotten. Well, I mean, they all passed, but. It was the first game above the minimum, I mean, above the average skill of 90. 
So I'm still under, which I expect. Game four. Hey, look who's here. It's our friend Bob Kaliri. Oh, and when there's no one that wants to help him leave. This is the easiest place to get rid of him, but it's not easy. Leave the four horsemen for six. The Putnam Street action saved it. That was the only thing I could have done. Thank goodness the wood spared it up for us. Means it's time for El Stinko the bonus ball. We've had one halfway decent El Stinko. They all sucked otherwise. Let's see how this one is. awful leave that is. Oh, actually, there was a seven fill, so that was a strike. Never mind. First good spare fill, but it stinks for that horrible leave. Let's see. How do I want to play that one? We got, there's a piece of wood. I don't know if you can see it. There's a piece of wood behind the one that's flat up against the front. That might interfere with anything. Might try for the left of the front piece of wood. Nope. That was in the middle. It was ever so slightly to the left, but not left enough. Niner. Okay. Nine good. the pin I wanted to hit but apparently wrong side of it. Take another niner. aiming for the group. Hey, Bowling God's middle finger for yet another nine. All right, halftime report. Got the beautiful six and one, spare in two, nine and three, first ball knocking down eight. That horrible uh, goalpost thing. And another pair of nines, we are at 51 half. Hello, Joe. That's makeable, but not when I'm playing it pretty much. Drum Machine says it best, spray and pray. Anyone ever bowled at the 
No, I think that's a private place, so I couldn't go if I wanted to. Been to the Woburn Bolodrome. Hence the picture on the front of my shirt was from Woburn Bolodrome doing the under the under the leg shot. And of course, as soon as the ball goes slightly past the lob line right into the gutter, it went. So, half time over, let's finish game four. I was wondering when a half Worcester was going to start, you know, kind of show up. There it is. Putnam Street's action saved that one, made it an eight. From a half Worcester and me, that's pretty good. I think the uh, new, uh, oh, I forget what he puts down on the lane. Oh, lane, uh, puts a lane conditioner down. Must be a new thing, because the balls are getting a little slippery, but my hands don't stick to the steering wheel of the car. That is the telltale sign of juicing. If you're, if the balls slip and you grab the steering wheel of your car and they stick to the wheel, they don't stick to the wheel, but I know he uses a uh, lane conditioner. Because a few times I go in self-service, you definitely can feel it. And I can rub it up a little bit. But it's all legal. Even if he juiced the lanes, it's all legal, so long as it's all done the same. All right, let's see. 23 in the last three to make minimal. Oh no, that would be to make middle. gives me the 10. Thirteen to make middle. And there's the worst spread eagle you can get. Just the one and five. This is why kids, when they tell you when you're, when you're learning how to bowl to aim for the center, this is exactly why you don't. Well, this is going to stink it up. Well, so much for having a lot of good games. Well, actually, yeah, like I said, we're in the 80s, so... Well, we just need one to hit that. Again, uh, the ability to hit a 90 average has once again gone by the boards. 
I honestly think hitting the 90s and 100s average, I think that was actually hitting a high note. You gotta admit, that was a good shot. So close to the middle of the road, but yet again, nope. But still a decent game. All right. All right, Sony camera in my phone. There you go, that six pretty much wrecked the whole thing. We could have hit the middle of the road. 88. Is not going to be an average that will be the best. Pine Lanes was a staple for us frat guys on Saturday. Night. Yeah, Fitchburg State. I was curious if they still had the lanes in the basement. They had bowling alley, uh, bowling lanes in the basement. There's only pictures of up here. I'm not saying it never was. But I know New Palace used to have three sets of lanes. And when it was converted from a vaudeville theater to bowling, they had the 10 lanes on the first floor and 10 on the second. Then the guy that owned the bar, this is probably what you're thinking, that was in the adjacent building, made a deal with the bowling alley. If the bar could take the basement, then they could have the third floor of their building and add another six lanes. So. At one time, Palace was 26 lanes, bigger than Mason's, by two. At some point, the deal fell through the lanes on the third floor, got ripped up. You can see the building. It was uh, the only, uh, well, there's only two perfectly legal abandoned building uh, videos I've done. One was a church, which completely gutted clean, so there was nothing in it, really but made safe to go in. And then the second building was in here in Fitchburg, next to the new Palace Lanes. A guy who keeps an eye on the building for f possible fire issues and what have not, told me if I had a camera, I could go through and take a walk so long as I didn't go behind the bar because the floors were rotted there. And that's when I got that video of the abandoned bar and gymnasium and the third floor that was all comp wide open that was the bowling alley for six more lanes anyway game number five let's see how this one goes Lovely seven to start.
Ini. is great. Stink frame of four, so this game's probably junk. which sort of helps. Halftime report. Nine, a pair of eights, a beautiful four that ruins everything. And a nine, we are at a rebuildable 38. Woolbert still has a four lanes, but looks like they were converted to 10 pin. And it seems to be a thing. I think Leo Super Bowl in Somewhere in New Hampshire, they were bought by, and that place got redone and half of their lanes, I think, were converted to 10 pin. I know that a sizable chunk was. So 38, it's rebuildable. Nines, nines and tens will help. Course marks even better. Do not cut it. Nines help, but a clean plate and some marks would be definitely better. where it needs to be. That 10 definitely is helping to keep it at minimum.
way off, but it still works. All right, so it looks like we're saving it. All right, last frame, we need just five to hit the minimum. Had a fairly uh, markless strong finish. It's still minimal acceptance. Yeah, my hope of returning to 90s average is gone. Long gone. We've mentioned that before. Speaking of four, there's one right there. That may have changed things. We don't know. Yes. And press one for a new game. Hello, oh, Chris Allen. How have the games gone so far? Well, the only good thing is I have not had a stinker in the set. But Hitting a 90s average is something that ever since the pandemic happened is just a faded memory at this point. We had a three digit game, but that's it, a three digit game. And speaking of, it's time to bowl the halftime, which is number six. Again, way too full, but Putnam Street saved it. Come on, Tim, settle down. It almost worked. Time to plug in the battery because you're down to like 26. Which means at some point it'll freeze up and then we have to go to a crappy cam. This time the lesser side is on the left. And that's exactly what I did not aim for. Proof that I suck. But hey, I did with at least a nine. Ten. As you know, gifts are greatly appreciated. not good. That was the one penny I didn't want to fall. Well, maybe if I hit the V, we can get the 10. Or duff it and get 7.
at your video quality, it's hard to see, but we do have a reverse half whisker right over there. Funny, easy to get when all the 10 pins are there, or if the other half whisker has been removed. Not so easy when they're by themselves. And that's an eight. Kingpin remains for nine. Halftime report. Nine, ten, plus seven, eight and nine. One point away from my all-time low of 43. So close says the drum machine. High single, 142, done at New Palace. Low single, 44. I'm one point away at the half here. That was done at Mason's. High trip, 325, not hit, to no one's surprise. And my high here is a 139. Half time's over. Oh yes, oh yeah, I already looked at the comments. I try not to Alpha Omega sin the fans, but if there's a blip and a comment is lost, I can't do anything about it because it won't show up. Another beautiful seven. Need all clean plates to hit middle of average. Unless we mark kiss the middle average goodbye. Still plenty good though. My 90s averages is long. That days are, those days are long gone. All right, 13 just to hit the bottom.
middle finger, we need we need four in this last frame. Oh, getting stuck in the pin There, we made the minimums. All right, let's not screw it up like last time. Two else think of the bonus balls. I have done the double strike here several times. In fact, the last time I came here, I did it. Now we need four to hit middle of the road. Eight fill on a strike is not a bad thing. And that also put it into middle of the road territory. Yeah, we got a pair of sevens I didn't like. So much the thing is blurring out because it doesn't like it either. 94. And I've been forgetting to plug this sucker back in. And this thing is so... How expensive are the candle of pin setters compared to 10... I don't know what the 10 pin pin setters are. But used bowl mowers, I think they can... They run, like, depending on who's getting rid of them, they could be a few hundred, usually around the... Um, five grand or so. A brand new Z4 pin setter which replaces the bowl mowers but is based on the Model D prints but different in the back. Those run 11 grand a pot. So half time I will be right back and then we'll clean the bowling balls. Now to clean the bowling balls. Fortunately, I wet my towel a little too much. That could be part of the problem. One more check here just to see if anything's happened. Okay. 
game number seven. Half time over. Now oh, that's an authoritative 10. That's really telling the bowling gods what I think of them. It's dumb mid throw. I decided to switch which two to go for. That ruins it a little. Down the tubes it goes. That's a set. We'll definitely take the ten. Putnam Street saving that one again. We are at the halftime, and we have, as the thing is doing its animation thing, an eight, a ten, a lovely pair of a six and seven, and another ten. We are squeaking by with a forty-one. a little more forward, yes. Now I can afford to, well, I need to be a little to the side. That's why we needed to be his side for a lousy six, and we need a lot of nines and tens.
aren't cutting it. Finally a mark that could save it. And that means it's time for El Stink on the bonus ball. Are we nice and clear now? There we go. That's the one good thing about the crappy cam is it, it's pinhole so it has a so it's always in focus. Let's see what else Stinko gives us. Now Stinko wasn't too bad. That was a seven and a makeable spare for those that are actually good at this. It's time for El Stinko the bonus ball again. Now to hit middle of average, I need a guaranteed fill of four for the guarantee. Now, if I can get another mark in candle pin bowling, it's a turkey. Three marks of any kind in a row. Unlike the others where it's only three strikes. All right, at least a four will cinch, will clinch in or cinch, whatever the right term is, the 90. Of course, it's everyone's favorite leave and an extra pin on the right hand side for a three fill, meaning we need two more. at least that. And a craptacular six. We just made it into the 90s. Another seven and another bad six and a bad six. That could have possibly been a three digit game. Although, yeah, with two marks, a three digit game is very possible. Even for me. All right, nothing new said. Like I say, if I usually. If I can, I acknowledge people as they comment. If I have not acknowledged you, it's because there are occasional blips and hiccups where data isn't being sent or received. So no intentionally alpha omega sinning people. In case you're wondering, he used to be a metalhead gamer or they used to have a YouTube channel. He still does, it's just dead and making money off what exists. And I used to be interactive with the fan base and people that watch their videos and then he completely abandoned them. He abandoned them for another streaming service where you have to pay to watch them. And that's another thing that got his fan base angry. Whatever, you know, his right. He needs the money and that's the way he wants to do it. That's fine with me. Game 8. So I'm not bad-mouthing him for that. 
he needs the money and he has to do it that way, that's how it is. Boy keeps turning away. Probably because he's sick of watching the sucky bowling. Is that a 10? Guaranteed at least a nine no matter where it It's just barely behind the lob line. Dirty little secret I've mentioned before of the competitions I've partaken, watched. If somebody accidentally throws it just a hair over the line, everybody tends to look in the other direction anyway. Keep forgetting to plug it back in after I show you the score. Battery's gonna run dead and everything will have to start it all over. At least the phone part. Another nine. Welcome to the Spread Eagle Show. Stink frame of three because asking for 90s is too much. Time report, 10, a pair of nines, a three to louse it up, and a nine to make it minimal again. We are at 40. A 10 pin league today, averaging 228, which is good. And candle pin, that would be averaging around, I'm just basing it off 
my high single here. That's almost like a 230, no, a 137 average in candle bin, which is impressive. So meaning that 239 is impressive. That's pro. But they use a much different pattern. But 239, even on a house pattern, I'm impressed. 40, half time. And there's the, oh, you know, the I wish it was the second ball on Here it is, Ozzy Osbourne can speak better and I'm getting worse. Ten. Fatten pin for another 10. Now if I can get a third 10 in a row on this channel, we call that the microwave turkey dinner. Week seven. Need 13 to make minimum. Might not have been a bad thing. A little delayed, but that's what should have happened. Alrighty, last frame, El Stinko, the bonus ball. What will the bonus be? It's a guarantee, middle of average. I can now repeat because people, according to records held by the ICBA for casual league bowl. They average typically around 80 to 100, so 90 smack dab in the middle. To guarantee a 90, a fill of that. El Stinko stinks for the leave of seven. Well, the fill is set. To explain a little something there, I was trying to hit the far left piece of that wood so that the ball would hopefully hit the two that I just hit with the third, and that pin might have taken the other one out. The end with a nighter. And another decent game. Well, I should say another good game in my book. Pin is standing up. Oh, a 
imagine what we could have had. That and the seven over there, that isn't too great. But that three really hurts. 93 though. Now that should be gone. This time they threw a low ball of 71 to match. I gotta pay attention to that. I've found out that if my number and that matches, like I've said before, if you have been on here, I can get a free game. I gotta pay attention to those numbers and I don't. I've matched it a few times and never knew I could have got free game from it. Game number nine. And if I remember to and see it, I'll show it. Not that it is something that I need to prove on video. If I leave it there, they'll see it. I believe I got an eight there. Yeah, that's an eight. Lovely six. Talk about barely behind the lob line. aren't cutting it at the moment. Niners are helping. Here goes the middle finger. Strikes help a little bit more. Now that being said, before I press the button and I, I can see the score and give you the half. Eight, a beautiful six, eight, Nine and a strike. So far, we have a 41 with two El Stinko to bonus balls to come. And several times here, I have double striked. Last visit, I actually accomplished it. Can we do it again? Highly unlikely. But can we get a good fill? Let's find out. Once I do my usual thing at halftime. Wants to do my usual thing at halftime. This is the part where you show me what people say. All right, nothing new.
I would have stole it. That that was not deserved. If I did. Spare on a strike. Making that a 10 fill. Which means it's time for El Stinko the bonus ball. What will the bonus be? A 10 fill. And the funny thing is, I will never figure out how I'm doing this. We're having a hot moment. Oh, and by the way, three marks in a row. Yeah, you can see I'm 81 with three frames to go and two El Stinko the bonus balls to match. Again, a chance. Stinko on stinks with two. Horrible leave, but a seven fill. Almost what I was going for. All right, I got two frames to get that many, to have that many numbers in the score. I'm having a moment where I look like I can actually play this thing. It helps with the average that has plummeted so bad. Last frame, I'll stinkle the bonus ball. To guarantee a really good score, we need that many for the bonus. El Stinko really stinks leaving a spread eagle of prey in its right talon. But it gets us to a magic number. Well, a better magical number. Not the side I was going for. Now this was a pretty good game, but we also got to consider where we're bowling it. That lousy three fill there. And that six right there kind of stunk. I'm pointing to the eight, but I want to point to the six. 118. Definitely. A game to not sneeze at, although a couple more and we would have hit Cinderella. We would have had a Cinderella moment. Right, yes. I pushed the button. Apparently not good enough. Oh, I got a 118. The magic number to match was 115. 
See, it's like pinball, except much harder, where it's not by the, you have a one in 10 shot of matching. You got the gamut. It'd be funny if they, if the number to match was higher than a Guinness record. I don't know if it's a Guinness record, but it is a world record, the 245. Wouldn't it be funny if I were the first person to do 300 and it's all on video? Wouldn't that just really piss off all the professionals that already hate this show and this channel? Don't get me wrong, there's a lot of professionals that do like it, so not putting them all under that umbrella. There's a lot of good ones out there. But there's people that tend to run tournaments that tend to be a bit snobby. Dave and my friend Gary, not part of that group. And they hate the show with a passion. And they hate this channel and, and these live streams with a passion. That would, that would be great if I miraculously got the 300 just to rub it in their face, even though I suck. Wishful dreaming, but let's see if we can do another good game. Now that I've said enough, I gotta see if anything else came up here. Nope. Oh, maybe, nope. All right, uh, a little late, but have a good time, Chris, wherever you went. Game 10, wow, already at 10. Oh, that sucked. <laughs> oh. I tell you, I've been up there with the camera and I proved that it's not juiced. It is a 10 pin deck with 10 pin deck treatment. So pins are meant to slide around the 10 pin. Candle pin, it makes it look juiced. Doesn't matter either way. So long as all the lanes are done the same way, if you're an accredited house, it's still good. But they don't hear. If that happened, that would have been something. Kingpin for the Niner. Took a, mi took a minor dumpster fire and made it a nine. And I'll repeat, as people jump in and on, that's why kids, we don't aim for the center, because that happens. Especially in 10 pin more so than candle pin. The double pinochle, which by the way, is also the term in 10 pin. Mostly in 10 pin they use big ears or big four. I almost stole it. Hey, 
Okay. Take eight. Middle finger telling us what it thinks of us. effect on the outcome so it's an eight and at half time we got a niner a niner ten and a pair of eights we are tying my low score of 44 my low score here at Putnam's is 54 my low overall was at Mason's with 44 which we mentioned 142 high single at New Palace again Mason's there and I can't remember I think it was here that 325 triple. Oh yeah, we always try to not ignore our fans. Alright, nothing there. Pin for the Niner. Balls in and out of cleaning, that's a nine. Two frames to get nine.
Another nine. We need a clean plate to hit the middle. I think we'll get a three digit gain, but we need to clean the plate for that to happen. Time for us to the bonus ball. Putnam Street action turned that into a seven, and finally a Fairly nice game in my standards. Just a lack of marks, pretty much. 97. Alrighty. I think once again, I usually do this at the two thirds. No, at the at the four. I gotta pay attention to this matching thing. 97, 123. This needs to be washed. I keep forgetting to put it in with the with the linen wash. Because that feels a little strange now, and that might be part of the problem as well. Game number 11. Now that is a dumb luck spare. That was completely stolen. You know we will take stolen luck. So, El Stinko the bonus ball that we don't deserve, but we will gladly take. What will the bonus be? A stinky lead, but we had a seven. Well, actually, maybe not. If I can aim slightly right of the kingpin. 17 for the first frame. I needed to hit the wood, not the kingpin. Perfect games here. That's okay though. That would be neat. That's another thing that would really uh, make most of the professionals really angry. But eh, yeah, pipe dream. You never know though. It's still a good game so far. The other wood. 
We'll take eight. I'd like to steal a strike. <laughs> Perfect! Spares ain't too bad, especially if the fill's good. And I think we got a piece of wood in the deck. In the pit. Yep. Do you see that tiny piece of white there? That's a pin that shouldn't be there. And with that gone, it's time for El Stinko the bonus ball. They stunk a lot in the beginning. They've been stinking less now. Now that I said that, I'm going to jinx it. What will the bonus be? Good news, six fill. Bad news, El Stinko stinks for that leave. For the other two, curse of the fill, only a seven. But the halftime ain't too bad. Got a spare, nine, first seven making that fill, an eight, a spare, and a lousy seven, and the first six making that fill, but we got a 57 half. Oh, Spider Man, and S oh, yeah, CS. I don't know, I don't remember if I said hello, but I did acknowledge your pretty high average in 10 pin. Impressive. I'm lucky if I can average 100. All right, 57 half, let's see how this ends. Ball just didn't happen. I should hit that button and accept the nine out. That would have been a miracle if I got a spare from that dumpster fire. The old adage, you could fit a piece of paper between the pin and the ball. In this case, probably couldn't have. Niner. Three frames to get five for minimums. Can't say wish it was ball two moment. Probably wasn't gonna happen. But we got 10.
I could see Casey McCool. Wood player. Hey, whichever way works. It was close to where exactly where I wanted it. All right. Last frame and El Stinko the bonus ball. What will the bonus be? Now, to guarantee that many numbers in the score, we need at least El Stinko of three. And El Stinko's a week four. Curse of the fill with a seven, but hey, the score is definitely nothing to complain about. Just that week four fill. 106. That's one of those games where it seems like it was more, but it isn't. It seemed like there was more to it than that. All right. Eighty-seven to match. Oh, no free game. Time for the final round. Final game, number twelve. That does it. Will we crash and burn like it usually does, or and decently at least? Welcome to Putnam Street. <laughs> I almost got screwed. That's what I like about this place. You can throw a really crappy ball and get a good result. It's now time for El Stinko, the bonus ball. What will the bonus be? A makeable spare, but you know who's shooting. And a seven fill, not too bad. Well, 
Run over time. I got the Emily. That's a rarity, an Emily. That's a spare where you miss everything in ball one and get them all in two. And again, pin sticking up. That being said, it's time yet again for El Stinko the bonus ball. What will the bonus be this time around? Remote, or I can say El Stinko stunk for the pins. El Strico. Now, with that being said, halftime report. We still have two balls to throw to find out what the final result of that is. Eight and one, spare and two. Ten and three, first seven from the ball, first ball to make the fill. Spare, strike, meaning the 10 fill on that spare. We are at 65 with two El Stinko, the bonus balls to come. And by the way, for the record, I've done it here twice. My best half is 87. So we're nowhere near that, but I'm not complaining. I have got double strikes here several times. Last time I visited here, I have done it. And I, like I always say, I repeat things because people jump in and out of these streams. Not looking for it to happen, but if it does, great. But let's get a good bonus. It looked like it could happen. Ten fill on the strike, meaning that's a spare, meaning a strong finish. And once again, because we've got three marks in a row, yeah, this is a uh, compy score. It was a ten pin. Uh, 10, it's a New England 10-pin uh, semi-automatic scoring system company. They made a revision to it to accept candle pins. So when we get a turkey in candle pins, it shows it as if we got three strikes. But we have a, we have a spare, a strike, and a spare. So it's time for El Stinko the bonus ball yet again. We have a 75 half. Let's see what we get. That's not a strong finish. Another strike. <laughs> no, we're not going to get any records here today, but this is going to be a good finish. Weird. And again, it's showing the turkey. Anyway, two El Stinko the bonus balls. We have three frames to go and we're already over 100. Needless to say, no matter how bad this goes, it's a good ending. For the most part. Two El Stinkos. Does that look familiar? Down to the wood? Not the same end result though. Still a seven fill, which is meh on a strike, but for the score, not too bad.
Niner. Oh, wow. We've hit Cinderella with two frames to go. side of head pin. Ten. I'm going to jinx it, but I'm going to need a mark for a chance for a new high single. And there goes Edel. Well, we don't know. Oh, wow. You're not going to believe this. All I have to do to get a new high single is knock down that many. Well, actually, that would tie it. Putnam Street Lanes, once again, zones my high single. I wish I could take a picture of it doing this, but it won't let me do that. New high single. Barely, but we did. What a way to end it. What a way to end it. So, that's it. I hope everybody saw that. We'll end looking at it. There it is. New high single. Barely, but barely equals good. And that'll be it for... That'll be it. But I want to see if we can get a free game out of this. Highly unlikely. <laughs> I needed an 85 to match. Nope, not gonna happen. But hey, we'll end with this. This is George F551 saying hope you enjoyed and have a good one.